What's up guys? Welcome to another unboxing from Sneakerhead213. Today's unboxing, um, you've probably already seen a lot of these types of unboxing on this particular shoe on YouTube, but um, this is my personal review. <laughs> Just plain. Um, anyways, um, so as you open up the box, you see that um, it is a Nike Air Jordan 1 box. Some of you guys can already probably guess what this shoe is. And the reason I'm turning this upside down is because this box fits so tight in here. So uh, give me a second. And I don't have those cut scenes like other YouTubers. I just got, I just got to do a raw review. Um, anyways, there it is, guys. The Nike branding there. 1985 Air Jordan 1. Nike branding there. Nike branding there. And there as well there was a little bit of damage to this box when I received it um, shit from Switzerland or Sweden so this does come from a long way um, and I'll tell you the reason why I bought this um, overseas as opposed to you know domestically and today we are doing the review on the Wabam well, size nine and a half Air Jordan 1 high retro and this is the Flyknit version and it comes in that black and royal white colorway um, so yeah let's get started as you open up the box there's a stamp there a lot of you guys care a lot about the stamp because you want to make sure you're not ripped off I did buy these from this company uh, or shoe retailer called sneakers and stuff pretty sure you guys are familiar with them um, the paper here open it up and there they are guys I'm pretty sure a lot of you guessed it anyways um, from the title <laughs> but these are really really nice really nice I'm really digging these let's get that thumbnail very very nice I love these I wish I could have kept a pair for myself um, but the price wasn't right for myself I always like to get things a lot lot cheaper than retail Although I did get these cheaper than retail, there's the shoe again. I'll let her kind of pretty much look at that whole shoe with the camera angle. So yeah, the smell of these is really, really nice. Oh, the glue, the glue is just reminds you of an Air Jordan 1. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, today we're doing the review on these, the Air Jordan 1 um, Retro High, um, flying it in that royal colorway. Um, and one of the first things you notice is exactly, it's made of the same material, the same material as the bread um, Flyknit ones that came out, you know, like about a month ago, I want to say, or a few weeks ago. Um, if you haven't seen that review, check out that review. Um, go back in my videos and you'll see it. Uh, but one of the first things that you notice is, of course, it's in that royal and black colorway. Um, and it's all flying material of course a lot of people get turned off um, due to the fact that these are not leather this is flying it material I actually prefer the flying it material I think it looks like a more modernized version of the Air Jordan 1 um, royal colorway and I actually appreciate these a lot more um, and I'll tell you why but first off let me get back to that other reason why I bought them overseas I bought these overseas guys because um, a lot of people don't know that sneakers and stuff for some reason with the Air Jordan 1's and they're, when they're flying it they actually sell them for like 20 to 30 bucks cheaper on release day um, as opposed to buying it here in the United States so I was like you know what shipping isn't bad ship because shipping isn't bad it's under 10 bucks and then you're still paying you know a cheap retail price for these shoes so all in all, I got these for around 169 or 179 um, and you know what guys, these were retailing for 180 plus taxes, I was probably close to 190 191 so I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's a no-brainer, and on top of that, I sold these and made a quick 50 bucks off of them, and I'm not boasting or bragging, I'm just telling you guys, be smarter, um, know where to buy these from. Another tip, if you guys want some of these buy them off of stock x i know a lot of you guys don't like stock x but i like stock x based on my personal experience with them if you haven't seen that video click the description down below <laughs> i have to you know i have to plug up that video 
Um, but anyways, um, yeah, it's I, I find that on StockX you can get these for a very cheap price. Uh, matter of fact, I have a few open bids on this colorway and the bread colorway on StockX. Um, and the reason I mention that now is because I know a lot of you guys are going to be inboxing me like you guys did with the bread ones. Um, asking me where can I find them cheap and I'm telling you right now where you can find them cheap so if you come and ask me that question later on I'm not gonna answer it because it's just a waste of my time because I'm answering it right now so anyways back to the review one of the first things you notice is this nice nice fly knit material um, and first of all in the toe box you see it all around here is like the standard fly knit you know just regular fly knit and then right here is more of that rugged um, fly knit material where it's crisscrossed and it's in that royal blue colorway. I assume they made it a little bit tougher and stronger here because, you know, obviously it's going to be bending a lot, your toes, and uh, so it doesn't want to wear out and, you know, pretty much threads end up wearing out and then you, you end up poking holes in, <laughs> in through your shoes. Um, cut those eagle talons, people. Cut those eagle talons. <laughs> um, anyways moving on forward you see more of this nice fly knit material the reason they made it so thick here and double layered fly knit material is because that's where pretty much your shoe or your toes are going to be bending you know when you walk you, this is pretty much the angle with in which they'll be bending so they have to make a lot of uh, extra support by adding extra fly knit material there well, this is how i know uh, Jordan is really thinking about the consumer and the materials because obviously they added extra layers so they consider that fact. Um, moving forward we also have some more of that um, fly knit, uh, thinner fly knit material um, here and uh, you see in the background small hints of that blue in which they try to make it transition over so it wouldn't look so bland like here. Um, they actually try to make it transition over to the blue which I really like. I gotta appreciate that a lot. And then you see that nice, nice premium leather, um, royal blue Nike swoosh there. And guys, I mean, this is really nice leather material. It's actually plushy. I know I can't show it on camera that well, but um, you just have to feel these in person. These are sitting, so you can, you can get these for a good price, especially if you go to Full Locker and you have an account with them and you get the coupons or the discount codes. I highly recommend that. Um, I don't have any currently, so I'm not able to do that. But, um, and then up here you see the Air Jordan branding there as well and that royal blue. The material is really nice. It isn't as premium as the Nike Swoosh, but it's pretty good, you know. I would say it's pretty good. Um, you see some more of that black fly knit around here, around the shoelace box there. And then you move on towards the back, you see two layers of that nice royal fly knit there. And it is a little bit tougher because you obviously you need ankle support there. So obviously it's a lot thicker, you see it more through there, and then right here you see the thinner layers of the black, more leather there, and then more of that blue there, and then just the same thing on the other side of the shoe. Um, this leather is really nice as well, um, and there's more of that flying it all around the whole shoe. Um, very clean finish, I really like these. Um, Moving on up towards the shoelace box, you, these shoelaces are almost like a wax shoelace material. They have like a glossiness to it, like a slight glossiness to it, or shininess to it, um, which makes me think they're kind of like wax shoelaces. Um, if you don't know what sh wax shoelaces are, Google that. That's all I can say because I'm not really good at describing that. But um, the tongue is like this stretchable type of fly knit. You see that? It's stretchy which I really like. It makes for putting on the shoe a lot easier. Um, and I recommend when you put these shoes on, untie all the shoelaces. Like, I mean, just get them really loose because when you try these on at stores and are in a rush, you can really mess up the ankles here and the leather around the ankles. But you see that Nike Air Jordan branding there in blue and the background is black leather. Um, underneath the tongue, you see when the first Air Jordan 1 came out in 1985 pretty dope and, and it's like in a yellow goldish color you see the 9.5 there also and then that nice nice leather in there and then you see the insole I hope she can capture it see the Nike Air there and it's a leather insole and you actually can't pull these insoles out so they're pretty much embedded in there um, they're non removable um, and that's pretty much it 
a lot of people have been asking me via Instagram, like, how do they fit? Are they worth it? Um, basically, if you're an OG fan of shoes, you will either love or hate this shoe. That's e that's as easy as it gets. Um, I say I really like these even better than the original ones. Um, the only disadvantages, of course, they're not leather, but then again, you don't have to worry about these creasing. The only thing you'd have to worry about is these making holes through them, but if you cut your toenails, you're pretty much good to go. Um, the midsole is all white. I forgot to talk about that. It's all, all white. And then the outsole is your you know, standard Air Jordan 1 outsole in that royal blue colorway. And oh, tell me, tell me I'm not the only one that smells the shoes, when, especially Air Jordan 1's, because they smell really nice. That glue, it just makes the shoe smell like a brand new Air Jordan 1. Um, and no, I'm not crazy, a lot of sneakerheads do that. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, these are really nice because they're flying material, they're lightweight, you can feel comfortable running in them. I have tried some on. Um, a pair that I thought I wasn't going to sell and I tried them on and they feel really nice. Um, another thing is also these are a lot more comfortable just they don't feel so hard like the insoles when you're stepping and walking on them they don't feel so hard on your shoe they feel a lot more comfortable um, you feel more um, like they're more modernized um, and that's one of the things that Jordan has, I feel, is trying to do best with this fly knit material, um, Air Jordan 1. They're trying to modernize the OGs and bring them back. Still keep the really nice OG elements like those colorways and uh, just small details. But uh, I think they knocked it out of the park with this one, in my personal opinion, and as well as a bread, bread colorway. Um, if you ask me which I prefer, which colorway, I like both colorways, honestly. I, I, I thought about it long and hard one day, I was like, which, which one would I wear? Honestly, both colorways go with anything you wear because of the black. Um, anyways, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully you guys follow those tips on how to get these for under retail. Um, and uh, if you are thinking of getting these or the bread ones, the bread's pretty much sold out. And um, these are still abundantly available. And so I would tell you guys, wait. So there's always that retailer or small boutique out there that will give you a really good discount. And I won't be surprised if you can get these pretty much soon for like 140, 150 something dollars. So just, just hold back and be patient and you will have these pretty good deal on these shoes uh, let me know what you, guys, what you guys think subscribe comment down below share hit the notification bell because we are doing tons of reviews today and we'll see you guys in the next one peace